Welcome to the session for SAP Data Warehouse Cloud. My name is Ingo Hilge Ford and I will be your host for the session. This time we will take a look how we can use the view that we created in the previous session and enhance the view by configuring label columns so that we can switch between ID and description. So we start by going to the data builder and we choose the space that we created as part of this exercise and we open up the view that we created previously. We navigate to the overall output sales view as part of our like view. As part of the overall view, then we go to the area attributes. We use a little pencil icon and open it up. So you can see all the attributes pretty much like in a full screen view, so to speak. And here you can configure additional items such as the semantic type and the label column. And remember we configured that for the table already, but here as part of the view, we have to configure it again, even though we did this already for the table. So we're gonna configure for dimension such as customers and city and product, basically the label column, and then we hiding the additional item from the view so that then in SAP Analytics Cloud, we will switch between the ID and the description and we don't have the additional item showing up. So after we configured basically the label columns, we save our changes and we deploy the changes for the view. And then we can go into SAP Analytics Cloud. So basically the story builder and take a look if what we configured actually works. So we go to the story builder. We say that we want to build a new story. We select our sales view. And then we're going to choose a table and we're going to add a dimension to the table. And then we're going to see if we can switch between the ID and the description. So we're going to take the product dimension and you can see we're only seeing the product ID. We don't see the short description, but as part of the display options, we can now switch between the ID and the descriptions as we configured it as part of the label columns. I hope this was helpful and I want to say thank you for watching and listening.